Hi, my name is Augusto, and today I'm presenting about the NCFMC Carrier, a general purpose FPGA card for fast data acquisition. So, to start, I will talk about a little bit of history. The development started in 2011 and was inspired by the CERN Open Heart Initiative. So, we decided we would try to uh, release. Uh, our designs as open source hardware back then. It was intended to be used on the bin position monitoring and fast orbit feedback systems uh, for the forthcoming uh, new uh, Brazilian synchrotron light source, Sirius. And it was developed and initially under contract with the Warsaw Universe of Technology. And last year, we released version 4 uh, of the hardware in a partnership with the Warsaw University of Technology and Creotech. So our goals were to promote a common hardware platform for fast data acquisition, real-time processing, and that is flexible enough that you can use in a wide range of applications. So for example, we use uh, the MC FMC carrier uh, for our beam positioning, beam monitoring positioning system and fast forward feedback. But I know that uh, folks at the Warsaw Universe of Technology are using it for quantum computing applica applications. And by virtue of it being open source hardware, it you can avoid vendor locking. So if you want to uh, produce, manufacture uh, the board for a different vendor, uh, you can. You can make modifications to suit your needs. And this is good because it, it also alleviates some of the problems we are experiencing right now with supply chain problems. You'd, don't depend on a single vendor for this hardware. And from the start, we decided that it would be a good idea to follow open standards whenever possible. Uh, so we didn't want to invent our own platform and uh, try to stick with is already uh, an industry standard. So what is MicroTCA? MicroTCA is short for micro telecommunications computing architecture is a descendant from the advanced TCA standard it is an open standard and it's like the standards we use in desktop computers but for high availability systems uh, it offers a remote management via IPMI and it has a very flexible architecture so in a typical micro TCA system, you will have uh, a crate that is uh, this metal case uh, on the right. Uh, a crate uh, can come in different configurations, different number of slots, and you can buy it from different manufacturers. Uh, and inside a crate, you will have uh, MCH, that is card here on the left and as responsible for managing all the hardware inside the micro TCA crate. It manages uh, the power, the clock routing, and uh, checks the temperature sensors, the voltage sensors, and allows you to control uh, the crate remotely. It's kind of like uh, BMC, uh, if you are familiar with. And an AMC stands for Advanced Mezzanine Card. Uh, the um, board we are talking today, the AMC FMC card, is an AMC. Uh, I will call it from now as AFC to, to make it short. And the AMC is connected in the front slots and it connects directly to the back plane. And then there is the RTM, there is a board that you fit in the back of the crate and it connects directly to the AMC. 
So just to give a quick harder overview, the AFC comes with a Xilinx Arctic 7 FPGA. Uh, this FPGA has 16 high speed transceivers, uh, for which we are using for PCI Express. The other 12 you can use for uh, any application you need. You can use for Ethernet, you can use it for uh, some special uh, custom made uh, serial protocol. It has 500 uh, IO pins, so you can connect plenty of hardware to this FPGA. And it has 215,000 uh, logic elements. It's not a huge FPGA, but it's quite uh, powerful. It comes with two gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Uh, so uh, mainly in some applications that you deal with digital signal processing, you may need uh, a large memory uh, or when you need to do uh, fast uh, bursts of that acquisition, it's very useful. It has two general purpose FMC slots. These slots are uh, standardized, you find it typically on FPGA development kits and these uh, slots you can uh, design your own hardware to fit there or you can buy some off-the-shelf hardware also. And uh, one rear transition model or RTM slots that you can fit uh, another board if you need more space for your hardware. Uh, it comes with a Cortex M3 uh, microcontroller that is dedicated uh, for housekeeping, so it reads the temperature sensors, uh, the voltage, current sensors, uh, it also allows uh, configuring the uh, clock switch. So this board has a, a clock crossbar that you can route clock signals uh, to and from the FPGA. Uh, it comes with a low jitter clock oscillators uh, and is white rabbit capable. White rabbit is a timing network protocol that was developed by CERN and uh, it's useful for um, uh, synchronizing devices with sub nanosecond precision. Uh, we don't use it, but uh, I know that some people are very interested. Uh, so the AFC is capable uh, of uh, doing that. So the AFC V4. Um, the last release had a lot of hard bugs uh, fixed. Uh, it has uh, automatic JTAG configuration. So what this means is uh, each FMC card and the RTM card uh, can can have the JTAG chain routed to it. But if you disconnect uh, each card, the FMC the JTAG chain will automatically uh, bypass uh, the disconnector, so you won't be uh, left with a broken JTAG chain. Uh, it's a, a simpler clock crossbar configuration, and the MMC microcontroller was upgraded to a microcontroller from the same family but with more flash and RAM. So the design files are available in the open hardware repository. Uh, from now, we didn't uh, merge the version 4 to the master branch. So uh, if you want to uh, look at the latest release, please uh, check the CTI FC4 uh, branch. It's licensed under the CERN open hardware license version 1.1. Uh, we um, might update this license to the version 2 that is 
has a better wording and is more clear what you can, what you cannot do with the hardware. So OpenMMC is of the firmware that runs on the MMC microcontroller. It's responsible for providing an IPMI interface to the AFC, so the MCH will talk to this microcontroller, uh, request uh, sensor data, request uh, if you want to do a hot swap or something uh, like that and it manages power for the FPGA, the FMCs, the RTMs uh, and also configures the clock crossbar as said previously. Uh, so here is the repository. We are right now doing a huge refactor to make it more modular and so it can be more easily ported to different hardware. So uh, the board support package is a basic project design. Uh, it defines the pin mapping, it supports uh, PCI Express and the DR memory. Uh, it uses the HDL make build tool for synthesis and simulations. It's a very interesting tool because you don't need to deal directly with the uh, Vivado ID. You can just write some uh, Python files to describe uh, your project, where your sources are and how to build them and the HDL make tool will generate a make file that automates all this synthesis and bit string generation process. And with that I conclude my presentation. Um, if you have any questions please uh, reach me uh, and thank you.